What's poppin', folks? It's your boy Mikey JTV and the mother heaven place to be. And today we have a little bit of a different, I'm not gonna say different, I'm gonna say correct. <laughs> we have a little bit of a correction to the style of videos that I've been making. Today we're gonna be going over your boy Razor. Now, in previous videos, very popular videos, I might add, um, my Sucrose video, for example, it was a very subjective video and it was only tailored to literally my experience so from today going forward i plan to amend that i plan to be less subjective and more informational so that you guys can get the gist of these characters and have sort of a guide to build on these characters so that's exactly what we're doing today with razor we're going to be going over his strengths we're going to be going over his weaknesses we're going to be going over his team comps and also the builds. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and uh, yeah, let's get this thing popping. This is our boy Razor. Let's start off by going over his strengths. So Razor is a DPS in every sense of the word. There really is no type of support coming with this character. Like people are... You're, the rest of your team is supposed to support this guy. DPS is definitely the name of the game here. Let's go ahead and look into what he actually does. The first thing that we want to do is look at his talents. As of right now, all of mine are level three. I could, I should be able to. Yeah, I should be able to boost him up to level four right now since I did my next ascension, but we don't have to worry about that just yet. Um, his first is his normal attack up to four consecutive strikes. This is the normal basic stuff. We really don't have to get into it. Um, this is pretty much what everybody does. Claw and Thunder though. This is his, his special attack. So it has two iterations of it. His press, uh, he swings the Thunder of the Wolf Claw dealing electro damage. The enemies up front of, and up front of Razor. On striking an enemy, Razor will gain Electro Sigil, which increases his energy recharge rate. Razor can have up to three Electro Sigils simultaneously and gaining a new Electro Sigil refreshes their duration. So if you just press it, it's going to basically boost his recharge time, which is absolutely amazing. So what happens when you hold it, it gathers Electro Energy to unleash Lightning Storm over a small AOE, causing massive Electro damage and clears all of Razor's Electro signal Sigils. Each Electro Sigil cleared in this manner will be converted into energy for Razor. That's kind of nutty. Kind of nutty. So for the first time that you attack an enemy, you definitely want to hit a press. You don't want to go in balls deep and hit the hold button. And um, I mean, it, it, it will do like some decent damage depending on how he's built. But you definitely want to build him up. You want to build up that suspense. When you get that good attack off, you definitely want to have those Sigils built up so you can get... Uh, you can maximize his damage. Let's go ahead and look into um, his lightning fang. This is his transformation. So he, he unleashes the beast with this one here. Uh, strikes alongside Razor's normal attacks, dealing electro damage. So um, right off the bat, he's going to be dealing electro damage when you transform. This is good for building uh, an electro damage build, but uh, you're going to be spending a lot of time in this form. So why not have that electro damage? But anyway, um, it raises uh, it raises razors. Say that ten times fast. It raises razors attack speed and electro resistance, causing razors to be immune to damage inflicted by electro charge status. It disables razor razors charge attacks, increases razors resistance to interruption. So you can just attack and attack and attack while he's transformed. That's that's really really dope. It reduces it. Doesn't completely eliminate it. It reduces it. So. That's really good. Awakening um, decreases claw thunders cooldown by 18% using lightning fang resets the CD of claw and thunder. So um, basically before you transform, you're going to want to use these always want to use these before you transform, because when you do, when you transform into lightning fang, um, it will kill the cooldown on those and you'll be able to use it one more time. Um, hunger. When Razor's energy is below 50%, increases energy recharge by 30. Razor is a recharge beast. Everything that goes into Razor is recharge heavy. So you can go OD with the build and just go straight recharge and just have his, 
his ult come back faster and faster and faster or you can just use that and go a whole whole other way like damage crit damage and elemental mastery you could do all three of those you can do both of those and his last one woven spirit decreases all party members sprinting stamina consumption by 20 and that's actually going to go into uh one of the team comps that i have uh for him so um now that we've got the basics out of the way his strengths so all in all his strengths are crazy dps recharge master and an elemental proficient now let's talk about his weaknesses all right for his weaknesses we're going to look at his stats real quick and the main stat that we're going to be looking at is his defense um obviously if you're going for a optimal build with razor you're going to want to have him some good attack you're wanting to have him some good crit crit and crit damage and there are things that's going to have to suffer and defense is one of them and hp most likely as well so the team that you build around him you're definitely going to need a healer um and you're definitely going to need some some type of support that you can switch out to and heal him quickly when you need to see the thing about razor is that your team has to basically set up for him and then when he gets in he's gonna have to do everything so the thing with his weakness is that he's gonna have to build up his sigils fast he's gonna have to transform fast and he's gonna have to kill fast he's a glass cannon so he's gonna have to get in there get out and uh, get the job done as quickly as possible um as far as um, elemental disadvantage electric and pyro is probably two of the strongest elements in the game so nothing too much is is very like weak weak about it um the thing is if you build him with too much electric damage then he's not going to be able to take care of the electric enemies he's gonna hit them like a feather so um be wary about how much attack and how much electric damage that you put into him so those two can like balance out. Other than that, I, I I don't I don't see too much of a weakness with him. To sum it up, he's uh, he's very strong. Um, not a lot of weaknesses, but he's a glass cannon. I think that's his only weakness is he's a glass cannon. Moving on to team comps. Now, team comps are probably one of the most situational things that I can expound upon. Um, this obviously depends on what's in your box or you know but th these are it's going to be like a base guideline for what i'm going for there, there's a a rhyme and there's a rhythm to these two team comps in particular that i'm going to show you today um that can get the job done with razor so if we're looking at chi chi here she is going to be my ice element she needs the ice element so that they can perform superconduct. now if we look at what, what we're going here for is we have to look at our elemental uh resonance here so for high voltage affected hydro uh well we don't need to talk about that but superconduct overloaded and electro charge have 100 percent chance to regenerate electro elemental particles now like i said razor is a recharge beast so you get those elemental particles he's going to come back as, as fast as he can with that transformation ult that's what you want to have that's what you want to have so um so i get the overload i get the elemental resonance going on with fischl and you know barbers for healing uh chi chi could definitely heal as well um but razor is he's just gonna go ham with you know the overload and and the recharge and all that kind of stuff but like i said he's glass cannon so you're definitely going to be wanting wanting to switch out to barba when he takes that damage for this next team comp it's a fire it's a fire build <laughs> now um, you would definitely agree this may be overkill with Deluke on the team, but it could be Bennett. It could be Amber. The thing is, you want the fire uh, elemental resonance. The affected cryo for 40% and less time, and you increase that attack by 25%. 25% is great. It's just great. That's that's all I can say. <laughs> so when you have two fire, uh, fire people on the team, that's what you want. That's absolutely what you want to have. So Razor definitely 100% benefits off Overload. Overload is probably um, right next to Superconduct. Overload is probably the strongest elemental reaction in the game. Uh, it probably gets you the most damage out of all, all, all of the reactions. 
Um, that's in, in my opinion, just depends on, you know, how, how, how it's built. But from what I've seen and what I've experienced, overload is definitely the one that you want to go for. So with, ex with increased attack, with the overload, you can't go wrong. And obviously again, Barber for the heels. <laughs> and this last team comp is my exploration comp. So these are the units that you want to have with you if you're just exploring if you're not really going out to fight bosses or anything like that you've got venti with his um his vertical advantage with he can create wins so, and he can get to places higher especially good for collecting those um animoculus and geoculus um razor his woven sprint decreases all party members sprinting stamina you've got beto with conquering of tides, so swimming stamina is, is consumed 20% uh, less. And you've got Barbara for, you know, healing. And uh, if you have her max constellation, she can revive. So dedicated everything to you and Barbara's not in the field and one of her party moves fall automatically revives to 100%. So say for instance, you fall off a cliff while you're exploring. Barbara got your back. Um, Venti also reduces stamina cost when gliding. So this is quite the ultimate exploration team right here. So, um, yeah, I think that that's, that's about it with the, uh, the team comp. So, uh, to recap, we've got the icy comp, the, the super conduct comp, we've got the pyro comp, and then we've got the exploration comp. All of them have Barbara in them because I absolutely love and adore Barbara. <laughs> I love her character. I love I love the way she heals too. She's 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 really dope. Anyway, 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 on to the last thing, which is character build. All right. So when we do these character builds, I have to let you guys know this is probably the most subjective part of these guide videos. I, I do want to say that this is a baseline type build. This is what you should be going for. Uh, Obviously you won't have the same artifacts and roles as I do, because those are all RNG. But, um, so I guess we can start off with weapons. So this weapon here, the Rain Slasher, I pulled on. It's a four star weapon. So obviously I pulled it off the banner. It increases damage against enemies affected by Hydro or Electro by 28%. Obviously once we level that up, it'll go higher. It's very, very good. It gives you a lot of elemental mastery, a lot of damage against, you know, debuffed enemies by Hydro or Electro. So that's the theme I was going over with the um, the team comps that I showed with the pyro and the uh, the cryo. I would definitely do good when you have a team of debuffers on on your squad so you can get get that extra damage off. What else? If we go with the free one, um, obviously this is going to do him good. I have this at uh, level five. He, I'm, I got my D Luke using it. The prototype Aminus, really really good weapon. Like it's it's a it's free. So all you have to do is grind for it. Really, really good on him. Honestly, really good on any DPS Claymore user. Um, Changyun, Beto, all of them, all of them, all of them. Really, really good damage on those. You do what you will with the weapons. Um, the artifacts is basically where you want to get your meat and potatoes. So uh, let me show you the breakdown of mine. I have mainly attack for the crown, the goblet, and the timepiece. So crown of parting, main stat attack, uh, get energy recharge or crit crit damage in your subs. And you should be good there. Like an energy recharge, really, really good, good attack. And this one here, I've got electro bonus damage. So he's doing a lot of electro. I have him on a lot of electro simply because of his, his recharge abilities and the team comps that I use. Concerts, final hour, another attack build. We got crit damage, elemental mastery, and a little bit, a little bit of HP and defense. So I mean, you know, uh, HP and defense you could definitely go without because he, like I said, he's a glass cannon. Um, you're really not going to be putting a lot of HP unless you just want to build him, him fat. I mean, you you can do whatever you want, but um, some of those other stats are definitely going to be lacking when when that happens. Um, the flower and the feather. Really, you just want to have uh, either elemental mastery, crit damage. Um, like I say, some HP rolled on here. I could definitely get. I can definitely do better with this one, um, but it's it's what I have for now. But you definitely want to be going for elemental mastery, uh, recharge, crit, and crit damage. 
Uh, I think the same will go for the flower. We've got attack and defense on here. Um, I have not rolled this one yet. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to wait until I get uh, another Sojourner piece, uh, another so Sojourner flower, so I can uh, get that 18%. That's the only reason why I have it on here, um, to get that 18% attack and um, get some better rolls. Because with the feather and the... The feather and the flower will always have HP and attack. So it is what it is on that. Razor is just a such a good character for me. Such a good DPS. Absolutely love the way that he plays. Like he, he's straight to the point. There's really no in or out uh, way to do it. You just want attack and, and element attack, honestly. You just you just do what you can with that and he's gonna work for you um but if you guys have any comments down to put down in the comment section if you think i did this video right if you think i did it wrong go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit the dislike button let me know what i'm doing right or wrong with this video in this line because going forward we are going to be doing videos exactly like this so if you guys are hyped go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like the video hit the like all that good stuff but it's me, your boy, Mikey JTV, and the mother of place to be as always, guys. Peace.